So can you talk a bit about your journey into IAC? Well, uh, I am a direct PhD student. Uh, so I joined one year after my B.Tech for uh, doing my PhD here. So I came from, um, I mean, I studied a B.Tech in mechanical engineering. And uh, now I'm studying or pursuing my PhD in electronic systems engineering. So it's actually a change in uh, the field that I was actually exposed to. Then um, I would say I was interested in robotics. So and uh, so I thought, okay, maybe future I might have better opportunities as well as I'll be able to use my skills for some betterment when it comes to some biomedical technologies. So I thought of moving into this field. So. Um, I studied at uh, Government Engineering College, Barton Hill in uh, Trivandrum. It's one of the government colleges in uh, Kerala and it's a pretty nice engineering college per se. So um, from an engineering college where we are actually taught to be engineers. Uh, so a transition to being a researcher was something uh, a little bit different. So we were um, sticking to the course curriculums, maybe attending six hours of a lecture a day. It really didn't, uh, uh, you know, Align with the way uh, the research or studies happen at IAC. So, um, so since I had no clue of what exactly we are looking at, I joined uh, IAC um, at DSC itself um, as a project staff for one year uh, at, uh, under the guidance of Professor Hardik J. Pandya and B's lab. So, I was working on several projects and then I thought, okay, uh, anyway, I, I know, okay, this is how research looks like. Um, while I was working as a project staff, I got exposed to other PhD problems as well. So I thought, okay, why wouldn't I uh, try GATE and then maybe try for a PhD? So that's how I ended up here. 